Parliament resumed at 10 a.m. this morning with oral Governor Gary Jufa kick-starting the session with the recent most trending issue at hand, the continuous power outages in Port Mosby and calling on the SOE minister to explain the situation and power disruption. Look at the Haplo country and Mipla is facing big problem one time, power blackout, constant, continuous, consistent power blackout everywhere. It affecting business, it affecting government operations, it affecting lives. Because some of the times the power blackout in me, I care where all health centre now, how sick aid post is stop. So causing big blood disruption through. The question prompted Minister Mutuvel to answer, stating that the government has inherited huge legacy issues in terms of the high cost of power generation, especially using diesel. Uh, that the recent outrage was mainly due to the stop by Puma supplies of uh, power, especially the diesel, uh, due to huge financial outstanding, which we have just resolved it uh, as of uh, day before yesterday, and that uh, the fuel is now start flowing and that should resolve the supply of uh, diesel for at least until end of this month. And then again, the next question, uh, uh, the next, next month again, it's a challenge. Adding that the government departments put together consumes power energy worth of 2.8 million kina per week. That includes all the departments, whichever government departments within NCD. And, and that's like it's a huge uh, responsibility for Treasury and there was a previous arrangement to pay for at least 2.5 million kina per week to PNG Power so that they can address that, uh, uh, the fuel shortage issue until such time we come up with that uh, uh, low power strategy. Jufa went on to question PNG Power Limited's appointment of a new CEO to which the minister answered swiftly stating that the interview of shortlisted applicants are currently in progress. Uh, this week they are going through the interview process uh, with that, uh, that Vanguard International and also the PNG Power Board will be sitting in the interview to interview all those shortlisted candidates. Uh, that will uh, help us to bring somebody qualified and credible to manage PNG Power. A supplementary question was asked by Governor for Western Highlands, Pius Winty, relating to one of Jufa's questions on subcontractors supplying power at higher cost in provinces and whether the government was encouraging private companies to venture into power generation in the country. To which the minister responded saying it is an issue that the government is now addressing and is trying to eliminate all issues of high cost of leases and fuel that the, the government is very clear and we have given a ministerial direction to PNG Power Board to look at possible uh, privatization of all the generation facilities and PNG Power to focus mainly on transmission and reticulation as the government has already invested billions of dollars in terms of those assets. But in terms of generation, we are open and we are happy to discuss with any provincial governments, you know, uh, whoever want to come and in partnership with your strategic partner, we are open for discussion. Thank you. Anit Khora, National MTV News.